this time I'm going to talk about focus groups. So what is a focus group? Why would I use a focus group? And how can I implement focus groups well? First, a focus group is, a f is by definition a focused discussion between six to eight people on a set of questions that you might have in order to get a more in-depth understanding of a research question. You would not use a focus group with more than eight people because it becomes unwieldy. And you want to make sure that your questions are very well thought out before you show up because six to eight people who are selected on the basis of their relative understanding or positionality with regards to your research question, those discussions can be very informative, but in order to allow everybody to participate, they can become chaotic if you have, if you, and they can become very long if you have too many people and not focused questions. So why would I use a focus group as opposed to an in-depth interview? In many ways, they do the same thing. You have an interview protocol, you have a set of questions, and you're gonna ask people these sets of questions. With a focus group, people often think this is gonna be the most efficient way to get that information. And this can be true, <laughs> except that um, focus groups are a terrible idea if you are going to be asking people questions that they're gonna be uncomfortable speaking about in front of other people. If you're going to be doing research on an issue that's controversial, that not just that people are uncomfortable to speak about, but for instance, it's going to make people angry, incensed, um, combative <laughs> to be in a room with one another. So people think, oh, I'll do research on uh, marriage issues and I will have couples in the room at the same time. Often what you would see with that is certain members of the couple will shut down entirely. Other members, um, you know, other people get really mad. It's just generally not a good idea. So focus groups can be extremely efficient way of collecting qualitative subjective information. And it can be a disaster if it's not appropriate to the focus of your research. Another thing to think about with focus group research versus in-depth interviews is that focus groups are rarely used for exploratory work. Because you have six to eight people sitting around a table and you often have maybe an hour, an hour and a half of time to get them to, to really speak about something, you rarely want to sit down with six to eight people and just have them speak off the cuff on something. An exploratory question by definition is one where you just want to let people really tell you what's going on and they take the reins and help you understand the kinds of parameters and, and criteria for your research that you want to be thinking about. Focus groups tend to be much more effective when they are ex when they are explanatory. So you have a robust theoretical framework to work from, you have an idea of what's going on and you want people to either give you a little bit more information about that idea or you want them to really focus on certain theories to explain them uh, more thoroughly to you. Focus groups are really useful when they're used in conjunction with other methods. So a focus group can help you if you have done statistical analysis on a question and it gives you a very good idea of what's going on but there's some unexplained variance. You can have a set of focus groups to help people explain to you in more depth about what's going on with that model. Or if you have done your statistical analysis and there's a lot of unexplained variance and you think what's happening here, it explains a little bit but it's not significant or there's just a lot of unexplained variance in the model, then you can have a focus group discussion with people to have them try to explain to you what's really going on. So this can be very helpful in terms of triangulating your information and your research. Focus groups are also really good at the end of your research when you do focus groups with experts in the field. So you want to be able to do, for instance, statistical analysis, in-depth interviews with people who, who have an experience with a set of questions that you have. And then maybe at the end, you want to go back and do focus groups or interviews with experts to sort of find out what's their view of or what's their understanding of what you've learned. So it's another way of checking and triangulating your understanding of your research.